Well, this is going to be a video of my collection of Simplicity and Alice Chalmers lawn and garden tractors. I've only been collecting them for about three years. I have nine of them right now. Ten if you count the walk behind tractor over there. There's ten tractors out right now. This is all my tractors. There's one more that's coming. I haven't gone out and picked it up yet. But we'll start with the newest and we'll work our way down to the oldest in year. This is my newest one. It's a 19, I think it's a 92 or 93 Simplicity 12.5 horse Hydro. It's actually a Briggs twin cylinder. Um, picked this one up. It's my neighbor. Um, paid $75 for it. When I got it, the only thing wrong with it was the Hydro would go real super slow when you went uphill. Well, the Hydro might be bad. No. Never checked the fluid or changed it. Fluid was ridiculously low. Filled the fluid up. She works great. Good strong hydro. And it's also got a 42 inch deck. And the next one. And we'll take a look at it from this side. There we go. And the next one here is a 1983. Simplicity 4211 Hydro, the 32 inch deck, this was actually my first restoration I ever did, I did it I think two and a half years ago, it's a really good little tractor, um, there's not a starter on it at the moment because the um, starter gear went bad, I have to put, a tip for you guys, put, put the metal gears on, they're worth the extra two bucks, as long as you don't have a fiber ring gear you can put them on. But if you've got a fiber ring gear on your flywheel, it will not work. Because it'll chew the fly fiber ring gear up. But otherwise, they work great. They just make a little bit of noise, but I don't mind it. And this one I paid $2.50 for when I got it. <laughs> like I said, it did not look like that. It did come with a snowblower, but it did not go on. It actually went on a Simplicity Broadmoor from like the 60s or the 70s. Oreo Man. Um, got the 11 horse Briggs in it. Good little, good little tractor. I ended up actually replacing the front tires on it and one of the back ones because it was the wrong style. And here's the Alice 716, the newest Alice in the collection. Um, I just pulled it out here a little bit ago and you can see the tire went flat already there in the back. So I need to get a tube in that. It's got a 16 horse and it's got the Briggs engine. It is the original engine. I had them look up at my dealership the serial number on the tractor and for that serial number in the year it uses a Briggs engine not a Kohler. So if you go on simple tractors I believe they spec say a Kohler engine but this one has a Briggs and it's a hydro. It makes it kind of rare. I also have a 42 inch no 48 inch deck for it, that plow does not go on it. Actually, goes on the landlord over there. But the bubble gearbox went on that, and I mainly doesn't have chains either. So I just mainly use it to clean out this area down here by the chicken coop. It's only good for scraping off what the snowblower doesn't get. But if it's on the other tractor with chains and weights, it does a pretty darn good job. But anyhow, I got this one. Well, I also I got that one in Baraboo, Wisconsin, the 4211. This one I got here in Portage, Wisconsin, the 716. I paid three and a half for it. Um, the orange paint is original. The wheels, I did repaint the wheels and the engine, because I did do the head gasket on the engine and the oil pan gasket on the engine. Otherwise, everything else was original. All original tires, the seat or and the seats are replacement, they were only shredded. Um, here I'll open her up and see. A little dirty, but yeah, this needs a wash. Moving on, the next one here is a 1975 Simplicity. 
system 5010 Broadmoor. That one I got in uh, the Tween Forge in Baraboo, about 15 minutes from here. Um, actually, I met the guy at the Steam and Gas show. He saw my um, exhibit and he wanted to know if I was interested in another one. I said, sure. And he wanted 40 bucks for this one. Um, only thing real I had to do to it is I needed a new carb. And I had a carb laying in the shed for one. The only thing I had to buy was the, was the um, governor linkage. And I had a spring, too. So... I only ended this one $44 because I paid $40 for the thing. And I robbed that seat off of a Ace Hardware lawnmower. That seat only has one crack in it. It looks a lot better. I have to bolt it down yet. Um, it does have the 10 horse Briggs engine. And it's a gear drive, a 3 speed. 3 speeds forward, 1 speed reverse. Now I do not have a battery in it at the moment. It does run. One thing that they, if you saw my other video of it when I got it, they had a solenoid right here and one down there. It's like, oh yeah, that's why it doesn't work. You got two solenoids. But, and I've recently repainted the hood on it. So I might have to pull the bumper off to get the grill off, I think. And I gotta repaint that and then get a decal for the hood. And it didn't come with, but I do have a 36 inch deck for it. I just gotta do a couple, weld a couple things on it. I'm moving on, this is my amp. This is a 1973 Simplicity 3410 Landlord. Um, it's got the 36 inch snow thrower on the front, chains on the back. This is my snow blower this year. Uh, this one is also all original. I have not repainted one single thing on it. Yeah, the seat's original. I need to get a new seat cover for it. Um, I paid $25 for this one. And it came with the snowblower and the 42-inch deck. And she didn't run at the time. Well, she did run, actually. I found that when I got home. I was thinking I'd probably have to do points, maybe a coil on it. No, she runs. Only thing wrong with it is the bushings in the drive shaft were missing, so it wouldn't. that wasn't hooked up. I put new bushings in it, which worked just fine. It's also got the 10 horse Briggs. I'll show you guys that. And it's got the light pods. I gotta pull this engine in spring, it needs a head gasket. But she does still run. It just smokes a little. I'm gonna pull the engine, I'm gonna repaint it. Paint it black. And I think I'm just going to clean the wheels. They're not in that bad of shape. And the snowblower is going to get repainted too, at least on the outside. I just don't like all the little rust spots. I got this one in Hartford, Wisconsin. I like the cool little light pods. Basically the same as the 716 over there. As far as the body style, except for the grill. Good little tractor. And then we got the littlest one, the 1967 Simplicity Yo Man. Oh, and this one, by the way, was a gear drive. And this one's also, Yo Man's also a gear drive. Um, little seven horse Briggs, pull start only. No electric start. They did make an electric start kit. This one does not have it. I'm not going to put one on it. Because this one was, it doesn't even have an ignition. This one I got in Appleton, Wisconsin, for 250, and it had the 32-inch deck. Um, I have since restored it. I think this is the second restoration I did. This one got a little dinged up because it sat behind the shed for a while. Um, but she needs a wash. You can tell she's in pretty good shape. Um, like I said, these you could get the electric start kit. This is a knockout right there. Just for an ignition. And the solenoid would go inside the dash. And you can see where your starter would go on and then the battery actually would sit in front of the engine. So, yeah. 
I'm gonna move on. This is my most landlord. It's actually my favorite. This is the most recent restoration. Um, I won't have to tell you guys much about this one because if you've been watching my other videos, if you haven't been, you should go to my channel and feel free to subscribe and watch those other videos of this one because I have a complete series of the restoration of the 2210. Um, made 1967, same as the old man. I bought this one in Arlington, Wisconsin for $100. You guys know what it looked like before. It had holes in it everywhere. Not from rust, but from some dumbass with a cutting torch. I do have the moon hubcaps on the back. You can see them back there. I got those. I think I paid 60 bucks or 50 bucks, something like that, for the two of them. New old stock. They only had one front cap, though. So if anybody has a set of front caps for it that are in decent shape, well, let me know. I'd be interested in them. I'd probably give you like 30 bucks for them if, because they're not too rusty. It's almost impossible to find a move of stock. And then the next one, this is actually the newest addition to the collection. I bought it about two weeks ago. I think it's a 1963 or 62. I haven't looked it up yet. It's an early model B10. It's got a late model grill. I got that grill for 25 bucks. With what you, with the whole grill that you see, tower and everything. I just put it on there. You can't find grills for these things. It does have some patching on it, but it looks good. Um, this one, it doesn't run yet. I'm getting a very, very, very dim spark on it. I think I need to clean probably the armature and the flywheel. And this one, I think, has the coil where you have to adjust it. I'm trying to remember if this has the magnetic coil under the flywheel or not. I don't think it does. Um, this one I need to put some air in the tires. It's they're not leaking. I don't even think I'm sure they hold air because I haven't put any air in it. It's been sitting here two weeks, and I know it was sitting at Brett's house for at least a couple years. Like every time I go over there, I think I look at the thing. I'm like, oh, I need that thing, and well, I finally ended up with it. Any of you guys know Brett Essie? Well, you should come to the Garden Tractor Days here in Portage. That's his show. Second weekend in July. It's in Portage, Wisconsin Garden Tractor Days. Google it. It's worth coming to. They had, I think they had right around 500 garden tractors there this year. And good. they have an excellent flea market. It's a sure show well worth going to. I think they had 500 around 500. I, I know Brett told me they had a hard time getting a count because some people left Friday because there was rain Friday night and Saturday. Some people pulled out Friday night and more people came Saturday morning. So I don't think they ever really got an accurate count. But, yeah. Anyhow, and it says, this is the 20, original 23D Briggs 10 horse. And there's not much else to say about it. It does have a it does have an Alice 42 inch deck on it. It looks white, and then under that white paint it looks like it's a simplicity deck, because you see this orange paint right there. But underneath that orange paint is yellow paint. Somebody's repainted this deck twice. I'm going to have to blast that deck and repaint it. Or, and then it'll make the tractor look bad. I do have a nicer looking deck that's original that went on the B1. Maybe I'll repaint that deck, put it on the B1, and put the B1 deck on this one. I don't know. This is the B1. I'll go to the B1 here. 1961. Alice B1. It's got the three belt snow thrower on it. Um, oh. That's the deadliest snow blower you're ever going to see. But. Other words. Where did I get this one? Oh, I got this one at the Garden Tractor Days for $100. It did not look like this. It was It looked about the condition of that walk-behind tractor sitting there. But I got it together, and I had it running for a while, and then the coil went, and I can't get a coil, so I'm in the process of putting a battery coil on it for now until I find a coil. Um, so it doesn't run at the moment. 
what else did I say about this one? Oh, and it's the first model garden tractor Alice ever produced. The B1, I think they made them, don't quote me on this, I think from, I want to say 1958 until 1964 or 5. I could be way off on that, so don't put any stock in that. That's just, I'm trying to remember, I'd have to look in the book. Otherwise, like I said, 61 P10. Um, anybody's ever seen, I don't know if they ever made them, a short steering column, because on the Simplicities, 700s, the steering column's about half the height, and they made them taller so it's easier to get the hood open. Um, anybody's ever seen, I've never seen the short column B1. If anybody ever has, it might be interesting to see a picture of that. Um, I tried to put my little signature Harley bullet light on the back. And one. Let's see, how many do I have the bullet lights on? I think I got them on three or four. And the landlord's got one too. And so does the 4211 back there. And all the restoration ones get the bullet lights. And the 4211 one down, down there is the one with the Zippo Varga step, stack muffler on it. I like the, it's got the original throttle still on it. It's actually a plastic housing for that. Those always are broken when you see them. Um, replacement seat through, I think Wells Implement. They do great work reproducing a lot of the parts that we need. They make um, toolboxes for the backs. Um, all kinds of little stuff. Wing bolts for the, um, the small frame tractors. They also make wing bolts for the B-series tractors, side covers, they have grill mesh. If you need parts, go to, I think, wellsimplement.com. They have a link on Simple Tractors to their site. Um, so they're not high-priced, but they're not cheap either. But they're worth going to. Um, and then last, here is the 19, I think 50, I want to say 58 or 59. Um, model VC Simplicity. This is what I bought at the Garden Tractor Days this year. I paid $35 for it. Came with a front blade. And then I found the guy across from me was exhibiting. He was trying to get rid of the weight here. And I think he wanted $25. I ended up offering him $15 for the weight. He sold it to me because I, I had the tractor for it and he didn't. Um, tires are remarkably still holding air. I mean, they're dry rotted. You know what the neat thing is on this thing? These tires have these studs in them for, I think, for if you're on ice. I think they're pretty cool. Um, like I said, it's got its original Model 19D. I know it's Model 19, not 19D. Um, something's hit the crowd here and dinged it pretty good. But... For its age, I think it's a pretty decent tractor. I mean, I can scrap it out and get my money back, or part it out and make money. See if I can get that. I haven't looked really. I think the tank's shot. Let's see if we can. Yeah, can't tell if there's light coming through or not. I got another tank for it anyhow. Uh, then neat little tractors. My whole collection. I also got a little you know, walk behind push mowers and all that stuff, the real mowers. They're in the shed. I ain't getting in there till spring. Got all the tractors. I don't know if you guys noticed if the video is a little clearer or not, I got a new camera. Um, it's supposed to be self stabilizing, so we'll see how good that is. I know my videos are usually pretty shaky. Actually got it yesterday. Wonderful UPS. I get it, and it's actually a, it's a smartphone. I get it in the mail, and it's broken, just shattered. Like, geez, I'd expect that from the post office, but not UPS. Now oh, they're all just as bad. And the two beasts have the sleeve hitches. 
landlord has a sleeve hitch. This one does not. I am gonna put one on this landlord though when I find one. I got I have a sleeve hitch on the parts tractor up by the other shed. I just don't know if it's uh, gonna fit. I might have to make a longer lift ride. Um, but that's basically the collection. You can see the flat tire on that one. So this is. Well, hopefully I didn't bore you guys to death too long, because this video is 20 minutes long. So, I think I'll end it right here. Let me know what you think.